Hey, welcome to Mavericks, where I talk everything cycling, adventure, and gear. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to be notified when I release new videos. Stick around to hear everything I liked and disliked about the WTB Nano's 700x40C tires. Okay, in terms of specs, I was testing the 700x40C Nanos, the TCS Lite with the 10 sidewall versions. Um, they are rated tubeless, a single ply 60 TPI uh, casing, weighing at 497 grams. Um, their pressure rating is 25 to 50 PSI. As far as the advertised width of the tires, my calipers were showing just over 40 millimeters, so not bad at all. When it comes to the uh, thread pattern on the Nanos, um, I think they can be considered as an aggressive uh, thread pattern. There is a center uh, ridge uh, that helps a little bit when you are on asphalt or smoother uh, types of terrains. But as you can see in this clip, you can really hear the uh, vibration when going fast on asphalt. Um, that means uh, compared to a more road-oriented tire, you are losing efficiency to uh, friction. Now on gravel, the tires performed really, really well. Uh, when I was going fast downhill, I always felt confident, uh, the cornering was great, even on gravel roads that were not well maintained, it was always a blast. Even the few days where we had a lot of rain and it was really wet, uh, I felt super confident and it really never failed me. Now the rougher stuff is really where these tires shine, roads and uh, Gravel roads are almost overkill uh, for the Nano. Even when uh, cornering at high speeds, I was never afraid of having my front wheel slip under me. The tires felt really fast, nimble, all in all, uh, a lot of fun to ride. I mean, I was even doing okay on super wet, slippery, technical single track. As opposed to my sister on her Gravel King SKs. And what about the really chunky stuff? Well, still not fun. And at that point, I was wishing for 2.25s or bigger. I mean, I've put about 1,100 kilometers, 1,200 kilometers by now on these. And as you can see, it's starting to show somewhere. Um, and I'm losing a little bit of the thread and especially on the center line. Um, my cornering threads are still pretty good. Some are starting to chip away a little bit. But other than that, I think it's pretty standard for the kind of usage I've put them through. I've been proud to say that I have not had a single flat running them tubes uh, for over 1200 kilometers on some pretty rough stuff. Now, as with my last tire review, I have been running those guys uh, with tubes. They are tubeless uh, compatible, but I cannot talk to how the sidewalls are holding up the uh, sealant. I've read in on some forums that some were having issues and they were getting a uh, sealant kind of uh, getting through the sidewalls and getting bubbles. Um, but yeah, um, I was running them tubes, so I really cannot speak to that effect. So in terms of ease of use and installation, these are a lot better than the Gravel King SKs I was using before. I mean, the Gravel Kings were a bit of a pain in the ass. I almost broke three tire levers just putting them on. These guys really uh, went on without any problems whatsoever. Uh, the only thing is I was having a little bit of an issue getting them to seat on the wheel properly. I had to inflate and deflate them a few times before they were really straight on the wheel. Uh, the the sidewalls had a tendency to kind of bulge out or bulge in. 
Uh, but other than that, after a few tries, I think I got them to sit pretty straight on the wheels I was using. As all tires, they are not perfect. Uh, if you're doing a lot of asphalt, uh, I would recommend getting another set of tires. Uh, you can definitely feel the vibrations at high speed. They also are pretty pricey. Um, I have not seen them go on sale uh, quite often. If you're looking to uh, get something with a tight budget, then I recommend getting the um, Gravel King SKs. So do I recommend the uh, Nanos? Uh, yes, I really do. If you're going on an adventure and you're not too sure what type of conditions you're gonna encounter, these tires will give you peace of mind regardless of uh, what happens. Okay, I hope this video was useful and if you enjoy this content, please uh, consider subscribing. I will put links up here uh, to the last video I did on the Gravel King SKs. Up here you will find links to the trip I did this summer uh, with the Nanos. As always, please hit the like button and ride safe.